Welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you how to send emails from buttons in Excel like this. Click the button and we have a from, a to, a cc, a bcc, a subject, and custom body text all without VBA. No code, no macros required. And we can do it with a button or a link. So let's say that we want to talk to Pris. Hit the plus icon up here. There's her email. Let's click it. And there we go, pris at example.com, everything else filled out just as we need it to be. And I'll show you in this tutorial how to change everything in this window. Pretty much the only thing we can't do here is to automatically attach files and then automatically send the email. If you'd like to do that, check out my email course on teachxl.com and I show you exactly how to do it. I'll put a link to it below this video and it's on sale at the moment. So if you need that little bit of extra, give it a look. But now let me show you how to make what you see here with a link and a button. On the email pieces worksheet, this is where I explain everything, but do not get overwhelmed. I'm going to cover all of this in this tutorial. It's not that difficult. Let's go over here so it doesn't seem too confusing and download this file if you want to follow along. It's for free. It's on teachexcel.com. I've got a link to it below this video. All you have to do is click the link, sign up for the free account, download the file, follow along with this tutorial. Now, first up, let me show you the super, super simplest way to actually have an email that's clickable in Excel. Bob at example.com. Enter. What happens if we click this? We get a blank email template to Bob at example.com. This is the default way that it's going to be if you just input an email like that. Now let's zoom in and kick it up a notch with the hyperlink function, which we are going to expand on later. So hyperlink, we need a link location and a friendly name, which is just what you see in the worksheet. This is where we're going to start building out what you see on the left side of this worksheet. So mail to colon, then Bob at example.com, close quote. That is the email. That's how you write it. Then we're going to say Bob's email, close it up, enter. Now we have a clickable email as well. Now, how about that button? Almost as easy. Go to insert illustrations, shapes, a rounded rectangle, draw the button. Type whatever you would like to type. How about contact us? Then we can right click the button and go to a link. The most basic version is just to type the email address up here. Let's go with Bob. And the moment I type that, it adds the mail to colon. So Bob at example.com. And we could add a subject here as well if we would like to. Your subject. Okay. Click away, click the button, and there we go. And that's how you do the simple versions of the email links and buttons. Now let's add on to it so that we can control everything. Zooming out, we can go to the left now, and we can see the full big version right here. This is what we're going to work up to. This down here just breaks it up into separate pieces. Uh, this down here combines it into a hyperlink function and makes it a bit easier to read, although it doesn't actually look easy to read right now. It will once we cover it. And then down here, I show you how to make it so that we can have new lines and special characters within the body text. Trust me, it's not that difficult. First, what I want to do is to go over the full thing in one line. I think it's a little bit easier to read that way. Let us add a new line and zoom in a bit. Remember, we always start with mail to, then colon. And it's going to autofill the long version in, but I do not want that. I don't think it's that easy to read. So let's change Bob to Vic. So the first thing is the email that you are going to send it to. I'm going to send it to Vic at example.com. Now, do we want anything else? Yes, we do. What do we need? A question mark. How about the first thing that we want? CC. What are we going to carbon copy? We're going to carbon copy another email. Let's just call it CC at example.com. Now I want to go for a BCC. All right. Ampersand BCC. 
equals, and then the email, whatever you want to put. I'm putting BCC just so that I can verify that I did it correctly when the window pops up. Now, what if we want multiple emails here? How about a comma? BCC to at example.com. And you could do that for any one of these other places as well, up here for Bob or CC. Now, what about for a subject? Very easy, ampersand. Subject equals, let's just use one word for now, subject. No quotation marks, just put it in there. Now, how about the next one? Ampersand body. No quotation marks, let's just put body. We're gonna keep it simple for now. Now we have everything we need. Uh, let us copy that and I'll input it just so we have it there. We could click this as well, actually. And it looks pretty good. Everything is where it should be. We have a subject and a body. It's not multi-line down here yet though. We'll cover that in just a moment. But now that we have verified it, let's go ahead and add it. Since I've copied it, it is time to go to the button, right click. Let's go to edit link. And up here, how about I just delete that and paste this in. Notice when I do that, it's going to separate the mail to CC and BCCs up here and the subject and body down here. I can hit OK, click away, click, and there we go. Perfect. How about a hyperlink? Equals hyperlink. Now what I'm going to do, put a placeholder here right now because it's going to be quite long and input the friendly name. Bob's email again. Or this is actually Vic's email, but that's fine. Now let's go here and paste it in. Enter, click, perfect. Now we are pretty much done. The only thing that we have to cover is URL encoding. So how we can have a body text that has spaces and special characters in it, as well as how to add lines to this to make it more readable. Although I think it looks rather readable like this, but let's go ahead and add some new lines right now. What you can do is click anywhere in here and hit Alt, Enter. Then we have a new line. So we can separate the mail to. Then what we could do down here, close quote, ampersand, Alt, Enter, quote. It's kind of confusing. When I say it out loud, it sounds even more confusing, but that's how we deal with it. So we go to the end, close the quote, ampersand, Alt, Enter, quote, go to the end of the BCC, which is right here, close quote, ampersand, Alt, Enter, and don't forget the quote down there, all right, and subject, let's go down here, same thing, body, perfect, let's go ahead and put Bob's email again, and why not put the closing parentheses like that. So now it should, in theory, be easier to read. You can tell me in the comments if it actually is or not. But that right there is how down here we got this function. It is the same thing except for we have the URL encoded body and subject. Now let us cover URL encoding. It's the very last thing. It's not that difficult, I promise. URL encoding just means that we can add more formatting, basically, to our body text. So, good day. If I double click, we can see we have a comma right here. We have a new line. Then we have some more body text. And we can't input that directly into the button or the function unless it is URL encoded. Let me hit escape. And then this function encode URL and then that cell. What we could do, let's go like this, your subject. And we'll go equals encode URL, enter, encode URL, enter. And it has added a bunch of stuff, which allows it to be output correctly. Now what we can do to make sure that we get the actual output value instead of the formula is select it, control C, Control shift v or Alt ESV, enter if you're old school. Now we have just the plain text.
If you do not have the encode URL function, it's only available in later versions of Excel. You can go online and search for a URL encoding for free. There are a billion different websites that do it. Now all we have to do, copy that. Uh, let's go back here. F2 to get in there. And for subject. Paste that in. Perfect. Now, body text. All right. F2 to get in there. And replace body with that. Enter. Now let's click it again. And look at this beautiful email. We have spacing, we have commas, we have whatever we need down here in the body text. And since it is a formula that made this, we could have it update for every single person. Good day, Pris. Good day, Tyrell. Good day, Decker. And this is all without VBA. And to add that to the button, all you would have to do is go up here. Let's remove the link. So right click. It is off the screen right now, but the option remove link. Then it's easier to double click. Let's go to body, paste that in. And let me just grab your subject from right here. Of course, it is a link again, so I will select it. Hit F2. Subjects. There we go. Select everything, copy it. And let's go to our button to finish this off. Right click. Edit link. Delete everything from up here. Paste it in. Okay. Click away. Click the button. Amazing. There are really cool hidden little features like this all over Excel. And if you would like a more advanced version of this where you can automatically attach files and send the emails all with the click of a button, then check out our email course on teachexcel.com. It walks you through everything you need to do in order to achieve that. And you'll find a link below this video. And as of now, it is currently on sale. So give it a look. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.